Kaylin here. Welcome to my channel. This is Full Purpose and Heart, a homeschooling channel where I talk about all things that I love about homeschooling. And today I want to share with you a fun new little thing that you can add into your school routine. I do it once a week and it's just something fresh. Just in my last video, I was talking about ways that we can kind of refresh our school routine here as we go into this fourth quarter of school. And this is a simple thing that I added to my school year um, and it's just been a huge hit. It's It's been so fun. So I wanna share these resources with you in the event that you want something simple and new to kind of integrate into your school day. All right, so this is Mail Monday, and I actually learned about this. I'll give a shout out to the Waldock Way. I was watching her videos and like a day in the life or whatever it was that she was sharing, and I decided that I wanted to replicate with my own little spin what she was doing for her Mail Mondays. If you have been watching my update videos or um, my Homeschool Life a series, uh, that video I do talk about Mail Monday there. So if you don't know, Mail Monday is just a beginning activity that you do on Mondays. And I have some subscriptions or letters that are mailed to me so that my family can have something to open each Monday. Now, there are usually four, sometimes five Mondays in a week. So I have planned out one Mail Monday for every day of the week. And let me tell you how I did it. So what I do is that three of the Mondays, I have a subscription coming to my house. Now it is a little bit spendy. You do have to invest in these companies who put together these really um, elaborate and beautiful mail submissions um, or subscriptions rather. But you can, you know, do it on a less expensive side, I'm sure, um, if you want to contact friends or family members or grandparents and have them mail your kids something once a week or once a month. I was having a hard time getting people to kind of commit to that kind of thing without a form of payment. So not that, not to say that my mom was saying I had to pay her, but I would pay a subscription company and they for sure to mail me something. So I'm going to show you what my three subscription companies are. I actually have a fourth one that I did just subscribe to, but I haven't received it yet. So I'll tell you what that one is as well. The other, the next thing that I do, so that's three weeks on the fourth week, then I will have my kids write a letter to somebody. Now, there's a couple of options that they can do for this, and I'm, I'll talk about that in a little bit later, but the natural one is to write to a friend, a family, or a pen pal that they can write a letter to. So this is hitting their handwriting, their social skills, their language arts skills as they're writing a letter format to somebody else. Then on that fifth week, this was an idea that I actually got from one of my viewers, so a shout out to you, um, but I write my kids a letter on the fifth Monday of the month, so they don't get a letter from me every month, only on those months that have a fifth Monday, and I will just write a letter to my kids, and it will be, you know, what, what I'm proud of them, or what I've seen them accomplish, or something that's going on in my life, or anything like that. I just write them a letter as I would to be writing to a friend. So that is in essence what Mail Monday is. So then when Monday comes, we start our school schedule. It takes, you know, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes of the school day, and we rotate around the kids and the child will open the envelope and we'll see all of the fun things that are in the envelope that was mailed to us. We'll talk about it, we'll learn about it. And then throughout the rest of the week, I will sometimes integrate some extension activities based on what it was that the letter was on. So um, it's a very short activity, again, kind of a breath of fresh air to our school routine where we were kind of getting into the Monday routine. This was something fun that was added and it's always, always looked forward to every month. So the first one that I want to share with you is called History by Mail. Check the description link below. Try again. Check the description box below and I will put a link to all of these that I've purchased these. These are not sponsored in any way. So, okay. So when you get history by mail, this is going to give you a replica of a actual historical document. So for this one that I have here, um, it is, this is a hand drawing here. So this particular document is these two pages come together in the envelope. And so one of it is a printed copy and then the other one's going to be 
in the le the handwriting of the author or of the creator. And then they have also it printed so you can read it in case you don't know how to read, you know, their handwriting. Um, so this particular one is going to be for D-Day during World War II. And this is Eisenhower's Order of the Day or the orders for D-Day. That's what this side of the paper is. It's a copy of the actual letter written from Eisenhower's desk. And it has a copy of his signature down here along with the orders of the day. And then it also has a sketch of what a D-Day platoon leader would be wearing. This paper here is just a bunch of background information, stories, facts, content that you can either read to your kids. What I typically do for this subscription is I will pre-read it all and then digest it and then regurgitate it. That's a really graphic way of saying it. But anyway, then I will say it out to my kids in a more um, elementary level explanation because reading all of this to them, they're going to tune out one sentence into it. So, um, but this will be super interesting for my kids to be able to look at and then they can kind of see what it's all about. Okay. So this is, uh, again, history by mail, check the description box below and I will send that to you. The second one that I get is called, um, American heritage adventure. And what they send me every week is a postcard of a location and sometimes this particular one obviously is Ma Mount Rainier so it's in the United States but not all of them are in the United States this is White Sands was another one that they gave me um, I have several um, so New Mexico again that's also in America I didn't know so I had to look don't judge okay so they'll send you a postcard these are hand artist hand drawn hand painted handmade and look postcard so you can stick a stamp on the back what I would recommend and what I did is go to the to the post office and buy a, a sheet or a roll or whatever you want of postcard stamps you can send a postcard for less than an actual letter so then you can throw the postcard on there and then you can actually mail these away I I haven't committed to mailing them yet because they're so beautiful but maybe you want to do it we have several of them okay in the other one, they give you actual postcards too. So your kids can pick the postcard once a month and mail it out. Okay. And then as a part of, again, this is, what is it called? Um, American Heritage Advent Adventure. So then more art. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right. And then this is a letter from a, a character named Lizzie Jane. And she tells you about her experience at that location. And she tells you what what um, trails she hiked on and what lakes and ponds she went to go see and the type of people that she met while she was there. And then she says like, and then I, this is where I slept and this is what I ate in the morning. And I'm like, can I go there? Oh, it's amazing. So what usually happens when we do American Heritage Adventure Day is that we'll read this and then I'll turn on the YouTube and be like, Let's see who's done a vlog in Mount Rainier and let's experience it a little bit. And then the day ends and I'm like basically planning a trip there because it sounds so amazing. Okay. Here's another example of hers. This is the white sands one and just the artwork is always top notch, gorgeous. You know, I love this handwriting. Like if I can make all of my worksheets and pages in this like fancy script, if I could write like this hand lettering, we'd have a problem because I'd be like writing everything that way. Okay. This again is American Heritage Adventure. The last one that I want to show you is Writings from the Wild. I've talked about this on my Instagram channel extensively because I love it so much, but um, I'm trying to see where all of my, oh, they're right here. Okay, Writings from the Wild has a few subscription options. I chose the higher subscription option. So I think, I don't, re I don't really know what's in the lower one, but I'm assuming it's just the postcard and the letter, but with the Supreme, like I don't, whatever they call it, you also get a little fact card and you get a sticker about the animal. So what they do is they'll send you a letter from the actual animal and it's as if the animal is writing to you. And look at this artwork, first of all, yes, there's the hand lettering that already captures my soul. And then look at this artwork. Is it a joke? 
this woman is an artist. She's amazing. Okay. And this is all hand written. So it's an actual letter from the poly polar bear. She's done um, the dormouse we got, the bull shark we got. Axolotl was so cute. I love this one so much. I even made like a little um, fact booklet that then we went through and learned more about the axolotl. It's so cute. And there's so much information in these letters that you can do an animal study mini unit. I mean, you could do a giant unit and then go to the internet and books and find more information, but you could do a teeny mini unit just with this letter. She gives you so much information. So it is well worth the investment. I highly recommend Writings from the Wild. If you do no other one, I would recommend Writings from the Wild. And then you can also write a letter back to the animal. On her website, it gives her the it gives you the address where you can send a letter back. So your child can write to the dormouse, the polar bear, the bull shark, the axolotl, whatever. So highly recommend Writings from the Wild. They are a fantastic resource, and I'm literally telling everybody about it. Like, don't even ask questions, just go and buy a subscription. Now, here's a tip for you, a free tip for you, my friend is if you want to have your school pay for it. Some homeschoolers have like a third party um, school that they are um, enrolled through that kind of subsidizes their education expense. Does that, you know what I'm talking about? If you're in that group, you know who you are. What you wanna do for Writings from the Wild is purchase the subscription as a gift. They'll get you an annual subscription then take that receipt, send it to your reimbursement team, and they'll reimburse you for the entire year. Don't do what I did. I'm paying monthly, and I have to submit my thing every month, and it's kind of a pain. So don't do as I did. Do as I say. Buy it as a gift, then submit that receipt to your re reimbursement team. So you'll pay for the whole year all at once. Okay, the last one that I have subscribed to but have not yet received is called Letters from Afar. And it's a similar idea with the handwriting and the artwork, and it's going to give you of a location somewhere in the world, and it's a letter from that explorer person, vacationer, who is experiencing that area, telling you about the food, the sights, the smells, the people, whatever it was that they were experiencing. It's such a great mini unit launch point that if you want to build more that you can, if you don't want to, then it's giving your kids just a little tiny exposure to science and history and art and um, geography and all of the fun things. So it's been wildly successful for our homeschool. And again, to top it off with a letter from me, every fifth Monday rounds out our whole month and we end up having a fantastic male Monday spice in our homeschool routine. So again, if you're looking for something to do to spice up your homeschool routine here at the end of the year, you're feeling like it's mundane, or you're at the beginning of a new school year, this is great for all ages, all grade levels. Everybody can enjoy it. It's wildly successful. Check the description box below and you'll get those links. So what do you think? Those are just my ideas. If you have something that you're doing in your school that's been wildly successful and just a short little clip of time every week, I would like to know what it is. Leave that in the description box below. And if homeschool is your jam and you're considering subscribing to my channel, hit that button and hit the bell so that you can be notified anytime I post a new video. Thanks so much for being a part of Full Purpose and Heart. I love having you here and we'll catch you in the next one.